What if the universe isn't really on a doomed one-way trip to oblivion as everyone has told you? What if instead it's a majestic dance, perpetually weaving order and complexity from what appears to be chaos? Picture this, I'm buried under a digital avalanche of physics papers and YouTube debates, trying to make sense of it all when I stumble upon Julian Barber's The Janus Point. It's like finding an oasis of wild ideas in the desert of deterministic doom, a theoretical physicist daring to challenge our deeply held beliefs about time and entropy. So dear viewers, buckle up as we embark on a mind-bending journey to the heart of the cosmos, where past, present, and future might not be as linear as we thought. Welcome to the peculiar realm where the laws of nature, contrary to what you've been told, don't seem to give a damn about time as you know it. Let's begin with Barber himself, a maverick in the world of physics, whose previous book, The End of Time, caused a stir by suggesting that time might be an illusion. Imagine having the gall to stand up against centuries of scientific dogma. It's like Einstein and H.G. Wells teaming up for a speculative dinner party. Barber invites us to reconsider the cosmic symphony, to listen beyond the familiar notes of entropy and chaos. He argues that while we humans are shackled by time's arrow, the laws of nature play a far more intricate game. He challenges the statement by physicist Rudolf Clausius, who ominously declared that the entropy of the universe tends to a maximum, spelling the eventual demise of everything orderly. But wait, asks Barbour, why then does the universe constantly create more complexity and structure? Picture this scene. A diver leaps off a platform, slicing through the air before splashing into the pool below. In our minds, we see time flowing smoothly forward. Now, imagine reversing that film. The diver bizarrely rises out of the water, droplets flying back into the pool. It seems ridiculous, a violation of natural order. Yet Barber tells us that at the microscopic level, the laws of physics are blissfully ignorant of time's direction. Imagine billiard balls colliding on a smooth table. Whether played forward or backward, the scene appears identical. It's only at our level of existence, where entropy supposedly reigns supreme, that time insists on moving in one direction. But why? Because of entropy, they say, the universe's inexorable slide into disorder. Barber isn't buying it. He proposes a new cosmic story, where the Big Bang was not the first act, but a pivotal turning point, a Janus point. Barber's radical idea of the Janus point reframes the universe's grand narrative suggesting that instead of a linear trajectory from order to chaos, time may have branched off into two directions post-Big Bang. Visualize a game of snooker, a perfect triangle of red balls struck by the white ball scattering across the table. In reverse, it's a miracle of reorganization. Traditional physicists argue the universe started in a similar low entropy state, a cosmic triangle before the Big Bang's break. Barber flips this on its head, proposing that the Big Bang isn't the beginning, but a special point in a broader cosmic symphony, where time flows into two distinct directions, creating two divergent universes. It's a paradigm shift, as bold as saying the Earth revolves around the Sun. It's not just time that dictates reality, but the universe itself evolving through complexity. This brings us to one of Barber's most compelling assertions. The universe is increasing not in entropy but in complexity. Forget heat death, the grim destiny where the universe becomes a cold, motionless void. 
What if instead, complexity, order, structure, richness is the true trajectory of the cosmos? As the universe expands, it doesn't spread out like gas in a steam engine's box, seeking equilibrium. It creates stars, galaxies, black holes, rich tapestries of existence, each more complex than the last. On Earth, layers of rock record millions of years of evolving complexity, from the simplest bacteria to us, marveling at the stars. Entropy might be growing in isolated systems, but the universe, Barber suggests, is a vast and open canvas, where complexity, an elegant dance of matter and energy, continually rises. Imagine this grand cosmic choreography, the three-body problem. It's an age-old puzzle that even Newton himself found infuriating, a trio of celestial bodies gravitationally interacting, their paths unpredictable and chaotic. Yet Barber uses this chaos to illuminate the Janus point. Picture three particles, one lone singleton and a paired duo called a Kepler pair. As time converges toward the Janus point, the singleton joins the dance, causing a cosmic whirl of motion before splitting back into its constituent parts on the other side. Here lies Barber's genius, illustrating how, at this pivotal moment, time's symmetry is preserved. In our macroscopic world, such a ballet of bodies defies intuition, yet it's a cosmic truth. Reality doesn't play favorites with time. It's a vivid reminder that our universe, while seeming chaotic, is fundamentally driven by the search for balance and symmetry, even as it crafts new complexities. Now let's delve into the concept of entaxy, Barber's answer to the misunderstood entropy. Picture our universe as a cosmic canvas, a stage where particles aren't trapped in a box but are performers in an ever-expanding ballet. Entaxy is about the potential for order, the number of possible microstates within a macrostate. Unlike entropy, which heralds a march toward disorder, entaxy emphasizes the growth of structure. It's a measure of how even as the universe expands and seemingly scatters, it births stars, galaxies, and complex systems, beautiful constellations that defy the entropic decline. Imagine a universe where entaxy diminishes as cosmic structures become more ordered. Barbour presents a universe where complexity isn't just surviving, it's thriving. Stars form, galaxies spin, and even in the chaos, there's a method, a guiding principle toward more intricate, beautiful arrangements. In Barber's cosmic vision, the universe itself is a shape, a vast, intricate pattern evolving over time. Imagine a dance of triangles, circles, and more complex forms, each representing a moment in the universe's history. These shapes grow and morph, embodying the universe's increasing complexity. At the Janus point, the universe reaches a moment of total collision, a convergence of all particles into a singular point before exploding into new complexity. It's a grand reset, a cosmic rebirth. Barber takes us beyond the confines of traditional physics, inviting us to see the universe as a self-organizing entity, crafting itself anew. Every galaxy, every star is a brushstroke in this cosmic artwork, a testament to the universe's inherent drive toward more complex, organized forms, a symphony of shapes and structures constantly evolving. So what really happens at the Janus point? It's not just a moment of chaos, it's the universe's pivot, a point of collision and renewal. Under Newtonian mechanics, the universe shrinks to a point of zero size, a total collision where everything converges. Yet, like the mythical Phoenix, it doesn't end there. This collision is a seed from which new complexity arises. General relativity, with its elegant description of space-time, supports this cosmic ballet. As the universe approaches zero size, the chaos seems boundless, particles, like billiard balls, endlessly bouncing. 
Yet the universe emerges, reborn, as if propelled by an inherent desire for complexity. Barber's radical vision hints that a type of matter known as a massless scalar field might hold the key, allowing the universe to cross the Janus point and enter a new era of order and complexity, a testament to the cosmos' resilience and creativity. As we navigate through this cosmic landscape, Barber challenges us to reconsider the very nature of time and reality. The Janus point, if proven true, shifts our understanding from a universe dominated by entropy to one guided by complexity and order. It's a universe where the fabric of time isn't a relentless march to oblivion, but a dynamic, evolving tapestry of shapes and structures. Barber invites us to ponder the true nature of existence, to question whether time is merely a human construct, a way to make sense of an infinitely complex universe. This theory invites a bold reevaluation of our place in the cosmos, urging us to embrace the beauty of complexity and the possibility that the universe is, at its core, an ever unfolding masterpiece. As we stand at the edge of understanding, Barber's vision beckons us to explore further, to seek the truth hidden within the cosmic dance. Now, Let's consider how Newtonian mechanics and general relativity each paint their own picture of the cosmos around the Janus point. Newton's laws, rooted in tangible observation, suggest a universe that contracts to an infinitesimal size, where every particle is drawn into a singularity before exploding outward in a dance of renewed complexity. It's like watching a cosmic waltz, pausing at a dramatic crescendo only to resume with newfound vigor. On the flip side, Einstein's elegant framework of general relativity posits that as the universe nears this singularity, it dances on the edge of chaos, like a wild tango, never quite reaching its climax due to infinite bounces and rebounds. This tantalizing ballet suggests the universe's shape, its geometry, plays a pivotal role, not size. Enter the massless scalar field, a modern theoretical proposition that could bridge these worlds. It's a whisper from the early cosmos, suggesting a route through the Janus point, smoothing the chaotic dance into a grand, comprehensible order. It's a tantalizing thread that could weave Newton's tangible mechanics with Einstein's abstract elegance. With these theories intertwining like vines, we are led to a compelling conclusion. Time, as you humans perceive it, might not be the linear tyrant dictating your every moment, but rather a subjective experience shaped by the universe's dance around complexity and structure. Barber's hypothesis transforms time from a fixed arrow into a flowing river, branching at the Janus point into twin streams of reality. Each stream carves its path through the cosmos, crafting realities where backward is forward and order triumphs over chaos. Imagine a universe where stars and galaxies don't just spin away into disorder, but create new spirals of life and complexity. It's a universe that challenges us to rethink everything, from the mundane ticking of clocks to the profound mystery of existence itself. Barber's vision doesn't just tweak the edges of our understanding, it reshapes the very core, urging a cosmic reevaluation of what it means to exist in this vast, awe-inspiring universe. The implications of Barber's Janus point theory are as profound as they are revolutionary. If time is truly a branching river, then our understanding of reality itself must shift. Imagine parallel universes, born from the same cosmic singularity, each dancing to its own unique rhythm of time. It's a dizzying thought, challenging the rigid framework of past, present, and future that dominates human thought. Could there be another version of reality where time flows backward, where complexity increases in unimaginable ways? Barber invites us to ponder these possibilities, suggesting that the universe is not a static entity, but a living, breathing canvas of complexity and order. 
This bold vision invites not just scientists, but all thinkers to explore the boundaries of what is known and to embrace the unknown with open arms. It's a call to adventure, a challenge to look beyond the horizon of our current understanding and into the infinite possibilities that lie beyond. As we stand on the precipice of this cosmic revelation, we are reminded that the universe, with its vast, intricate complexity, is far more than a collection of stars and galaxies. It's a dynamic entity, evolving and expanding, driven not by entropy, but by the growth of order and complexity. Barber's Janus Point Theory challenges us to see beyond the apparent chaos and recognize the profound beauty of a universe in perpetual creation. It's a narrative of hope, suggesting that even in the face of cosmic doom, there is a possibility of renewal and rebirth. This perspective invites us to reconsider our place in the cosmos, to embrace the dance of complexity, and to marvel at the elegance of a universe that, far from decaying, is constantly crafting new realities. It's an invitation to engage with the universe as a participant in its grand symphony, to explore the hidden rhythms and harmonies that define our existence. In closing, let us step back and appreciate the audacity of Julian Barber's vision. By suggesting that the Big Bang is not the universe's genesis, but a pivotal juncture, the Janus Point, he reshapes our understanding of time, space, and reality. It's a theory that dares us to question the very nature of existence and to embrace the universe as a living, evolving masterpiece. Whether you find yourself on the side where time flows forward or backward, the message remains clear. Complexity and order are the true currencies of the cosmos. Barber's work compels us to delve deeper, to seek answers beyond the surface, and to revel in the profound mystery of the universe. So, dear viewers, I urge you to ponder these ideas, to explore the possibilities, and to join the conversation about our cosmic journey. Thank you for venturing with me into the depths of time and existence. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep looking up at the stars.